Oh, did this just work? Oh, sweet. There's this game called, uh, what is it? Watch this. It's called Crazy Kong, bro. This is like... Like this is actually a, uh, it's a, it's like an illegal, <laughs> it's like an unlicensed uh, Donkey Kong. They call it Crazy Kong. Some other company like was working on this game. It's basically Donkey Kong, but it's it's actually called Crazy Kong. It was like licensed out to like, another company, and then Japan, uh, Nintendo never gave them the okay to like use it but they shipped out like arcade units across the u.s um with these games oh shoot is this it okay <laughs> Dude, do you hear Mario? Oh my gosh. Dude, he's saying like, Hoo Oh, dude, hey, I'm sorry, bro. There's something up with um, the chat bot. I tried uh, figuring out what was wrong with it before I went live. And for some reason, bro, right now, ranks is just not, um, it's not registering. It's like super annoying, man. I don't even get that. Did I just... Did I beat that level? This is bootleg ZK, bro. Oh my gosh, it's so weird, bro. It's funny is it's actually easier than the original one.
He runs way faster, too. <laughs> what is this, bro? Wow, okay. 25. Kevin, we are playing um, Crazy Kong. And apparently this is like a, um, it's an official... It's an official licensed Donkey Kong game. game. <laughs> so Ahu and I were just reading the uh, Wikipedia about it and basically in 81 when Donkey Kong came out in Japan, it was like Japan was falling behind on like production in terms of like the demand. So they like licensed another company to sort of act as like the um, relief valve and distribute a lot of uh, cabinets of Donkey Kong. I guess under the name Crazy Kong. But what happened is that they broke their contract and started selling these in North America. So this is the licensed Donkey Kong game, but it's, whoa, that guy's going fast. But it's like very bootleg. Like, do you hear Mario? Listen to him. Yeah. Dude, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Television pair channel, no, j no video, just audio. Wait, isn't that what <laughs> what a podcast is? Could you imagine somebody had a podcast? And it's just them playing the game, and they're just talking about, it and you hear it. Now, what I was about to say is that I don't remember any Mario game in the history of time ever having Mario sound like this when he jumps. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Come on! Come on down, baby! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, dude! Go up the ladder. Go up the ladder. Oh, shoot! Yes, Mario moves faster, but so does everybody else. My goodness. Holy moly. Oh my gosh! Dude, he was like chasing me. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh shoot! Dude, go away everybody. Dude, go away! Oh my gosh. Hold a stone on there, broke your legs, yeah. <laughs> Dude, 
Dude, why is this so hard? My goodness. One more, let's go. Oh my gosh, we're gonna we might be able to do it. Come on. Oh, here we go. Yes. Oof, round two fight. Wow. My gosh. Oh my goodness, man. Come on. Dude, these colors are just something else after it. <laughs> the DK face needs to be an empty, I swear. After he hits the bottom. We'll have to screenshot it, bro. I'm curious, bro, because that... Whoa! You see what he, how you threw that? I'm curious if, like, you could use it without getting in trouble because... Yeah, this being like a, a licensed game that like Nintendo or the these people like release the game kind of like in North America without like permission. It's like <laughs> I'm curious if you could like not get in trouble for using that face for NFT. Boom, there we go. Slight modifications can be made, right? that choppy music it just sounds like some guy hitting a keyboard bro like off time and everything dude Gosh. Like how it shows a broken leg. Come on. Come 
Come on. Wow, dude, this is not easy. Gotta be kidding me. This is like... Hurry up, hurry up! Oh my gosh, save it please, thank you. Something else, dude. This is something else. Frustrating. Oh my gosh. That is just the thing about retro games, isn't it? They're just all super frustrating when you play it. Save it. There we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my gosh. Come on. Got it! Yes! Wow. Oh, dude. That screenshot. There. I'll try to send it to you, Ahu. I'll DM it to you in Discord. <laughs> Oh, be quiet, Siri. Goodness. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, of course, man. Not a problem. Dude, how you... How are you supposed to jump over those two barrels? They're just going too fast. Oh, well, so we gotta smash them. was easy. So there's 22 levels, apparently. levels sound effects oh my god Kevin how is this enhancing your night oh is it going faster There we go. Oh, fake out, bro. Bump the ladder.
Oh, he went the other way. Please grab it. Oh my gosh. Come on, man. Oh, here we go. One more. Let's go. Let's go. One more. Yes. Interesting one. Oh gosh, I'm sure a lot of you that have played Donkey Kong have seen this right now and are like, yo, what? Oh shoot! Yeah, a lot of that. A lot of, a lot of quick saves, a lot of quick loads. Oh, get the hammer, bro! Honestly, I, dude, that, like, yell or scream that Mario is doing is, like, pretty intense. Like, dude, did Mario even, like, have words? Like, we're talking 81, dude. Like, I don't think they even developed the voice of Mario yet, dude, at this time. Oh my gosh. Wow. Load state. Okay, here we go. And we're trying to complete... So this game isn't really like a game you could play A to B, like, like a campaign or whatever, right? It's like the levels keep repeating and you get a high score, right? You know how the arcade games usually are. So, since, um... Oh, dude, go, go, go! Again, since there really is no, like, you can't really beat the game, the only way, um, I would consider beating this game is getting to the kill screen. And again, for those who are curious what a kill screen is, basically it's like... What? That was too high? No. Are you... S oh, he's got a halo? He's dead? Wow. He jumped like... He jumped like two feet. Yo, what? Dude, he doesn't... <coughs> he doesn't even die from that height in the normal version. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, so again, how how we um how I determined beating the game is to get to the kill screen. And the kill screen is essentially just a high, high enough points in the game that just like kills itself. Oh boy. So, <laughs> okay, so Pete, you've seen stuff like this, but, um, yeah, so I think the kill screen is a lot shorter than, it's a lot less than the OG Donkey Kong. Like, the OG Donkey Kong had to get to, like, 3 million, I think, 3 million something. Apparently, you only need to get to, like, 600,000 on this, so, we're a... 100,113, so... Um... If that's the case, then, you know, we're... We're, we're moving pretty fast. We're a sixth of the way there. Is that how you do the math? I have 600,000, we're a sixth of the way there. We're a tenth of the way there? Oh gosh, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Oh my 
gosh, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Now we gotta play the level over again. Dang it, I should have saved like more often. Wow. Oh boy. See, the again, I was talking about this last time. So Mario moves way faster, but so do these Oh So do these so do these flame things, man. My goodness. Oh shoot. Dude, this this is actually harder. So I will say this. It seems like this level is like way harder than the DK ver the OG version. Because you gotta like navigate, you gotta go like back and forth. Like okay, save you dingus. Wow. Uh how do you do in how do you do in math in school? Uh pretty terrible. I was actually a 2.0 student like most of high school. Uh, actually, most of most of school, uh, not due. Actually, not due to being like like I didn't understand stuff. It was just like um, I didn't care. It's just funny. I think that's a lot of people with low like GPA. Like it's very rare that oh people are in school and they're like trying as hard as they can and like failing and getting bad grades you know there we go wow oh that reminds me hey, you. I forgot to send you this screenshot in discord remind me again tonight man can you message me <laughs> you said you wanted to do it and make an nft out of that face um so yeah, being, yeah, uh, my problem was is I, I just didn't pay attention in class, nor did I, and I didn't care either. So it was like, when I was in class, it was like, oh, I can't wait to, when is class over? Or thinking about what am I gonna do when I get home, right? I mean, I did great in sports and uh, electives. So like, uh, it doesn't look like it now. But, um, I was a baseball player all the way through high school. I wanted to play in college and hopefully go to the pros, but I got injured in high school year, so I didn't go on to do in college. But um, the point being is that, you know, I was a musician and an athlete, so like the cliche, like you're into those things, then you are like education. But yes, to answer your question, Pete, I was not good at math in school. That was because I forgot a lot of stuff. You know, it was sometime around fourth or fifth grade um, that I, I think I stopped caring about like getting good grades. It was like I used to, in the beginning I used to love. Um... Oh gosh, I thought I was gonna get that one. I used to love memorizing like for like the spelling quiz every week, you know, like there's like 10 words you memorize, right? And learn how to spell. I used to practice with my dad and like try hard on that. Oh boy. Oh no, dang it. No, no, go away. Oh my gosh. Uh hold on. Um I hate it I hate it. he says I hated paying attention in high school, I just wanted to work. I sucked at math, I excelled everywhere else. I was a musician and nerd. I was also a theater nerd. Yes, yeah, so seems like we can all relate in some way. You know, let's talk, uh, somebody posted on, uh, um, gosh, on, uh, on TikTok, a video of him, like, repairing shoes. I guess he's a cobbler. And, um, 
about how it's like a the craft is like dying and a lot of it has to do with like um well it seems like two things like one like um you see there was a, a time in like the 90s i think it was around the 90s like millennials i think specifically that you know the push for um the push for uh education over a craft right was like huge so like uh, there's a lot of crafts a lot of things like people just like didn't like go after pursue because you know all of us were told like you need to get a degree and so like you know that's just one layer to like why nobody was pursuing a lot of like craftsmanship stuff yo that thing needs to go away oh my gosh no don't go back up Please, dude, just go away. How do you get to that platform? How am I supposed to get to that platform, bro? He's just like waiting for me to jump over there. Oh, we played D&D, &D, LARPed as a vampire, and played magic. Nice. Uh, but yeah, so one in general, like a lot of like craft stuff like that, people are pursuing. Uh, number two, but specifically for like cobblers, like it's it's uh, not a thing anymore because the cost to repair a shoe is like pretty close to just buying a shoe, right? So if a shoe costs like two hundred bucks, it might cost you one hundred to repair. So it's like at that point, like you know, you get it repaired, and it's like, well, is it gonna hold up for like as long as it did when it was new? So people argue that like cobblers, like depending on like how good they are, right, and their quality of their work could actually make your soles on your feet or whatever they're repairing um like last longer than the intended manufacturer because like the manufacturer might not be putting the best quality parts and materials into making the shoe so like the person that like repairs it almost like remanufactures it with like better components and better parts uh, high school was where i learned to cook and shoot photos nice <laughs> had to specify shoot photos yes Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Uh. Go down, go down, go down. You need to go down, man. How am I gonna get past that flame, bro? Oh my gosh. Go down, go down, go down. Oh my gosh. See ya. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, save it. Oh my gosh, dude. You've got to be kidding me. Dude, what in the... Okay, save it. Oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. By the way... If you're lurking, I apologize. This is just like the sound effects and this is probably super annoying in the background to hear. Very annoying, very stressful. <laughs> My gosh. Oh man. Hmm. I was in the auto shop and wielding and such. Oh dude, sweet. Um so in high school, I um, I took wood shop for like three years, but I also wanted to do auto. But you know what the sad thing is? At our high school, they got rid of uh, auto shop and wood shop. Dude, you've got to be kidding me, man. Dude, there's no way we're getting this 600,000, dude, like this. Oh my gosh. Go! No. Thank you. Then, directly afterwards, I go to work at a local shop, fix cars and trucks, and all the off road vehicles and such. I'm used to it now. Oh, sweet, man. So, that probably helped you with um, uh, when you were fixing the tractor the other day.
Oh boy, gotcha, boy. Oh! Grab the hammer. Grab the hammer, my goodness. No, 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 no. Go away, go away. See, this this one right here, dude. This is the hardest level out of all three, four of them? Four of them. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Woodshop had glass art in the second year. I took both. There you go. Thank you, thank you. Um, That's cool, dude. That's actually really cool. But woodworking is a really cool craft. I wish I could be good at something like that. I mean, I've retained enough, like, basic knowledge and understanding of Woodshop. Of, like, how to operate certain tools and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff, like, I just don't remember. I don't like it so much these days because it wrecks my body. Oh, I'm sure it does. Oh, yeah. Being in certain positions and holding up like that, like very heavy things. Oh, dude. You gotta be kidding me, man. That's the one thing about automotive repair is that, um, it's one of those things where, like, it will make you very strong, though. Because of how much you have to rip things and hold things up. It's not like you're, like, strong because you lift weights. It's, like, that kind of, like, labor... Like, labor strength is, like, a different strength. It's, like, you don't end up looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but, like, dude, you have, like, you have, like, a gorilla gri grip. Oh my gosh, dude. These guys are, like, impossible to get around. This is gonna- this is gonna take a while, dude, to, um... Dude, this- This is hard. Oh my gosh, why is this so hard? Oh, that was my chance. I... It says, uh, one of my favorite things that I learned young was if you're gluing two flat wood pieces, uh, surfaces together, put a little salt on the glue, the two won't slide when clamped. Oh, interesting. That's actually really smart. Yes, because that is a problem when you're clamping two pieces of wood, like stuff slides. Yes, that is a problem. <coughs> Any of you guys uh, get your hands on a PS5 or Xbox Series X yet? Or, or are any of you guys excited to get any of the newer gen consoles? And if not yet, which one do you guys plan on getting? Oh my goodness. Dude, leave me alone. No, leave me alone. Oh my gosh, dude. They they move so fast. They move so fast. I can't go anywhere, dude. Oh my gosh! Oh man, oh man, back in the day I was hella fit, gave myself a concussion, hit myself on the head with a big ass wrench. Oh, I bet. Oh my gosh, you have to be so careful. Especially in automotive, like watching your head, banging onto things and just lugging those tools around. I want to get a PS5. They look really cool, don't they?
After the move uh, and gaming well, uh, gaming well gets set up. Nice. Dude, <laughs> come on, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm sorry you guys have to see this crap. This is like... Oh, dude, this is terrible. Hey, Hugh, you're gonna get a, uh, you're gonna get the physical or the digital version? Oh, heck yeah. What are you gonna get, tactical? You're gonna get the PS5 or the Series X? Ooh, boy. And just like that, the timer's out, dude. Oh, man. Come on, go away. Oh, my gosh. They're, like, guarding it. They're, like, guarding that little peg. No. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh my gosh, dude! This I this is one of those things where like when, when we're done playing this game, I'm gonna be glad. It's, it's not gonna be one of those things like oh, I had such a fun time playing this game. So many memories, the journey along the way, and the friends we made along the way. Oh, I'm so sad to leave this game behind. This is like one of those things where it's like I'm when I beat it, it's like I may never touch this game again ever. Wow. Your good friend uh, has one. I'm enjoying playing it. Nice. My ha my household already went in on a PS5. Ooh. I have no rights to it. I don't have a job to pitch in. Most likely the digi version. I'll be in the city with fast internet. Oh, sweet man. You're still up north in uh, Oregon, Washington. Forget exactly. I forget. But I know you're north of me. You're not, like, on the East Coast or whatever. Dude, so you know what's really interesting about um, the PS5, Xbox Series X, like, how hard it is to get a console? Um, do you guys remember how hard it was getting a Switch? You know, the Switch was just like this. Oh, man. I don't know what to do. I can't believe we're still stuck on this level, man. Go away, go away, go away. <laughs> oh, we'll never again, never again we'll play this game. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Gosh, how long have we been on this level? Yeah, there's like four, or they call them screens, right? So one level six, and there's like four screens per level. Oh my gosh. How long has it been, dude? How long has it been? How long are we on that freaking screen, bro? <laughs> That's the one I want to get to. I'm still trying to debate. So I don't have a PS5 or Xbox Series X. I'm still trying to debate which one I should get. I thought I would get the Xbox before the PS5 if I if I was gonna get both. Um, but now that like um I'm like I've become like a big PC gamer. It's like most of like the exclusive stuff I could get on the Xbox I could just get on PC. I mean goodness. I mean dude, Halo's now like you can get Halo on PC. So it's like, it wouldn't make sense to buy an Xbox Series X if if I can also get, just get it on the PC, you know what I'm saying? Like, the point of, like, me even getting consoles was supposed to be, like, exclusives, right? Like, that's why I got a Switch. Um, but most of the stuff now, it's like, it comes out on the PS5, the Xbox Series X, the PC. Um, you know, so again, like, we've talked about this a hundred times, but, like, 
you know, why I'm not in a rush to get one of the newer consoles is because, well, I did spend a lot of money on a PC about almost two years ago, like in the three grand range. So it's like, it would, it would be wise for me, like financially to spend money on it, on something I don't need. Um, so anyways, most of the stuff that comes out, I get on like, um, oh, we made that jump. Oh, I'm so happy we made it. I didn't want to load it again. Um, I can just get on PC anyways, but going back to the Xbox versus PS5, um, you see, again, the point I'm trying to make is that, like, if I get the Xbox Series X and a lot of that stuff is Microsoft launch releases it on the Xbox and their PC, and I also play for Xbox Game Pass, so it's like, you know, <laughs> even if I never get a Series X, you know, it's like, even if Series X games come out, like, they'll probably come out on the Game Pass, so... I could just play it digitally on my PC. But the PS5, you know, it's like, you know, there's exclusives on there that I probably would want to get. Also, the DualSense controller looks so cool, dude. You guys, have you, the DualSense controllers, such such a cool controller. I, I've still yet to hold one. So I'm holding a, I'm holding a, um, the new generation Xbox controller. So this is the 20th anniversary Xbox uh, controller. It's it's funny as the green. So this is green. This is lime green. It's chroma it's chroma keyed out. That's why you can see through the look at right here, see? This is like this like lime green. Kinda like the green that's um on the game. But because I'm using a chroma key for my green screen, it's like the same the same green. Um and same thing on the X. You can't really see the green because of that. But this is this is the the closest thing I have to like a next gen console, which is this xbox controller but uh, i decided to get it because i wanted a newer xbox controller to play on the pc and that way you know so it's kind of like i'm playing like a new xbox but wouldn't be able to do that with the ps5 well i think you can sync a ps5 controller to your pc now but the meaning is that like even though i can get a ps5 controller and play pc games it's like there's playstation exclusives i can't get on pc uh let's see uh that's the one i want to get to and uh oh on the left of my tv i want to do an xbox as well on the right ps5 underneath i want to do nintendo dude that's a sweet setup left right one underneath that'd be cool speaking of exclusives i'm still waiting on prime 4 shakes fist yeah dude metroid prime man that's probably my favorite of the metroid so the original metroid prime is my favorite metroid game of all time and then the Metroid Prime series is probably one of my more favorite series of Metroid because, well, being a millennial, it's like I didn't grow up playing, like, Metroid and Super Metroid. Um, so, like, my first Metroid game was Metroid Prime, which was first-person shooter. Kind of like my first favorite, my first uh, favorite Zelda game is Ocarina of Time, but that's not the OG Zelda game, right? So as a millennial, it's like my favorite games of the of like a franchise happens to be like when they went 3d but um but yeah metroid prime is my favorite series of the franchise and specifically down to the actual favorite game metroid prime the og one on the gamecube is my favorite so good i'll have to play that well we'll have to play that through that on stream but that's why I'm not uh, too worried about the Xbox. Well, for now, I'll get older systems, get the collection together, but I'll wait on the Series X for a while. Right, right, right. What is a console? A small computer, exactly. What is a computer? A big console. That's right. Yeah, that's why like some people like um, right now like the the gap between like console and um, PC has become less and less over the years. Have you guys noticed that? Like over the years. I mean, they've always, the consoles have always kind of been a PC, just, it's been exclusive to just doing, like, one command, like, just, or one specific thing, like, playing games, right? I mean, because you could argue a Nintendo and a Genesis, Super Nintendo and a Sega Genesis were, like, computers, but, you know, they're computers that design one thing, but over time, the consoles have had all these other things you could do on it, like, watch movies, listen to music, browse the web... And hold up, start like like have apps. And wait, here's another thing. Did you guys know that on the PS4 and the Xbox One, we're we're not even talking the PS5 and the Series X. Those are unobvious. But did you know on the PS4 and the Xbox One, 
uh, you could hook up a mouse and a keyboard and, and like, play games that were compatible. You could even, like, go and browse the internet with a mouse and keyboard. Like, you can open up, like, um, like, Internet Explorer on Xbox or browse the web on your PS5. And if you had it set up on a desk with your mouse and keyboard attached, you could, like, use it like a computer. So... I know some people that play like console ports of games like um this one guy used to come to my stream all the time like back in the pandemic on his xbox one he was playing uh apex but apex was one of the games see it all depends it's um so outside of playing a game your your ps4 and your xbox one can utilize a controller and a keyboard you know without being in a game like you, you know anything it want to want to like Go through your console, the apps, you can use a mouse keyboard. But when it comes to games, only certain games are compatible with mouse keyboard setup. Um, it's all up to the developer, all up to they decide to do an update that make it recognizable. So some games are not keyboard mouse compatible, but apparently Apex was. And so he was telling me like he was playing Xbox One with his, which is a console, which most people were playing with the controller and you know, the whole, the whole stigma between mouse and keyboard and controller is that, you know, mouse and keyboard, you have way higher, like, control in terms of, like, precision with aiming and quickness to, like, look, shoot, like, click and shoot. So he was having this, like, superior, like, aiming and shooting on his Xbox. And it was native support. Um, and what I mean by native support was that, like, so during also the PS5 and the Xbox One's lifetime, uh, you know, companies came out with adapters. I think Hori did. Hori came out with, like, an expensive, like, compute, um, keyboard and mouse adapter. Like, a set for the PS4 that was, like, $200, $300. It was, I think it was, like, that expensive. But, basically, what that was, was, um, that wasn't a mouse keyboard in the sense of, like, just sticking to the mouse and keyboard and using it. What it was is the, the adapter basically told the PS4 that the mouse and keyboard was a controller. You see the difference there? Native support means you plug a keyboard in, you plug a mouse in, it recognizes it as keyboard mouse. This adapter was cool in, uh, in a different way because when you plug it in, your PS4 says, oh, it's a controller. <laughs> so when you go to play controller games that like only support controller, you can use this key this hoary keyboard mouse setup. But anyway, so like this guy that was playing Apex Levels on the Apex Legends on his mouse and keyboard setup had like superior aim and movement over the people he's playing with because Apex Legends, as far as I'm, as far as I know, is it's not a crossplay yet. <laughs> wow. Anyways, let me catch up. Well, thank you for coming to my TED talk. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let's see. There will always be a war, but the battles are smaller. PS2 had a browser. That's right. You have a lot of stuff that didn't they? I had internet on my PS2. Yeah, I had internet on my Sega Dreamcast. You can believe that. I remember hooking up my PS2 Slim internet back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the internet goes way farther back, right? It goes like to... Well, yeah. Did you guys know that like apparently like the Super Nintendo... Well, the Famicom um, had internet capabilities. It was like a modem attachment. Like we're talking Famicom, meaning like the Japanese version of the Super Nintendo. So that like internet service and uh, equipment never came to America for us to even to even know. So like e even in Japan, right on the sixty four um, Nintendo sixty four disc drive that they had, they also were able to download stuff and play on the N sixty four. Yeah, Japan has some really cool like iterations of the consoles we had, but we we never had like internet connectivity. Like even the GameCube. So the GameCube was it's funny. The GameCube did have internet capabilities but here in america it was never utilized like if you buy double i think on double dash it's one of the few games that the american ports of uh, mario kart double dash if you look on the back it's like one it's like one it's like one to four players and then like on the like next to it it also shows a symbol for like online gameplay and if you look at the bottom of the gamecube it had a ds it had a broadband and a uh, modem port that you would take out and plug in like if you actually if it was capable but they it never became became a thing here in the US. But <coughs> anyways. 
Just get back to playing this terrible thing. Wait, what? Oh my god. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Thank you. But yeah, especially now, dude, if you look like a, a lot of people, the trend right now too is uh, for console gaming. A lot of people are setting up their consoles at like desks versus like in their inter entertainment center. So like I, I, all my consoles are in the inter entertainment center, but you have a lot of people setting up their consoles um, at the, uh, at, at their like desk, uh, like a computer. And we're not even talking about they're setting up their consoles at their computer desk, meaning like they have a computer there and they just will also want to game in the same place. A lot of people are building like gaming desks. Basically, like you set a PS5 or an Xbox Series X, you hook up a gaming monitor to it and you play at the desk with like RGB, like, like any other computer setup you've seen. And here's the funny thing, right? Because... If you hook up a mouse and keyboard, at this point, you're, you're like using your PS5 and your Xbox Series X like it's a computer. So at this point, out, outside of like, you know, being able to access like other programs like a, a Photoshop and whatever, it's like, dude, you're basically doing most of the stuff you could do on a computer. I miss my PSP. Oh, wait, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Of uh, PSP. <laughs> Sorry, Tactical, I really wanted to do this for you, but uh, my PSP is too far back in the cabinet. I was going to reach in and grab it, but I, I couldn't see it. But I pulled out a PSP game for you. <laughs> UMD, Universal Media Disc. Oh. Yeah, I was going to try to pull out the whole PSP and show you on cam but all i could grab was just a game psp game here we go this one's a call of duty uh roads to victory and what's interesting is that um i have i can play a psp emulator i can play this as a controller if i want to uh, i was streaming this like back in the summer but stopped playing it because uh, I, I just have too much too many stuff in the backlog going on but yes here is the um PSP game. We can all reminisce. Yeah, dude. PSP. Now, here's the thing. Did you guys ever have a Vita? Do you guys know anybody had a Vita? The PSP uh, did a lot better than the Vita, right? If I'm not mistaken. In terms of, like, how many people bought it. You know, like, sales. Yada, yada, yada. Um, but, yeah. Like, dude, I remember people at high school bringing a PSP to class. And I was like, what is that? And, um, you see, because I think I found out that way about a PSP is that somebody brought to class was like, oh, it's PlayStation's uh, handheld. I was like, oh, dude, that's so cool. Oh, no, not this level again. Come on, man. No, dude. I really don't want to play this level. Oh, my gosh. Oh man. Oh, hey Hugh, thank you again for sending uh, Tactical over here. Uh, how do you guys know each other? You guys know each other IRL or you guys just um, know each other like the Twitch community? Dang it. Leave me alone. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Oh. Oh my gosh. We almost just lost. The time almost just ran out. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was close. Oh my goodness. Oh man. So we're on level eight. Apparently level 22 is like where the kill screen is. Oh my gosh. Dude, that fire came up fast. Whoa, how do you follow us so fast? Wow. Oh man. from a chat site uh via mutual friend server oh sweet coo 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 and we missed a ride bro oh my gosh Pete, are you playing uh, Minecraft right now? You said you're making concrete, right? Oh my goodness, man. Oh, perfect, 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 go away. Oh my gosh! Yep, working on my kitty flags. Noise! What is that annoying sound, man? Oh my gosh. Oh, sweet, we made it, man. My goodness. It says, uh, for my second base, Meow Chu Pichu. <laughs> that is hilarious, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, you'll have to post it in Discord, man, so we can see what you're doing. Alright, who else is annoyed at this game? Raise your hand. I am. My goodness, dude. Dude, do you guys understand we're suffering together? How's it, how's it feel that I brought you into this suffering? You still like me? We're gonna suffer together, dude. See, another vote there. A who says post in Discord. Yeah, bro. Post under the gaming section. Like you usually do. I know you host a lot of your um, Minecraft stuff there. So we'd like to see it. Ooh. 
No, go away. Please go away. Please go away. Leave me alone. Please go away. Oh, got right in between them. In your kill screen, this one, and then moving on, right? Yes. Basically, um, I want to watch the evolution of your creation. Yes. Basically, um, kill screen, and then we're moving on. That is how I'm going to determine that I've beaten the game. Oh my gosh. That is hard, dude. So this is... This game is harder and easier in different ways. So I think it makes it easier because the mechanics are a little more forgiving. It's a little faster paced, so... This makes it a le little easier to, to get through the level. But because things are faster paced, like the barrels and... The oh, see, like that. Wow. Uh, check out your rank. Oh, nice, bro. Coffee beans. Here we go. Hosting the Nether Hub entrance. Oh my gosh. Wow, 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 you, wow, you, wow, this is annoying. Wow. Oh my gosh, that was quick. You know, I was trying to figure out what that boom, boom, boom noise is. Apparently that's DK, like, beating his chest. We took great each other's base door eventually so that they can make them as easy, make them easy to identify. Oh, cool, cool. Imagine one of you trolls each other and you guys all make the same, uh, the same decoration. Oh, speaking of, uh, games, have you guys ever played Rust? Speaking of games that are, are on the same kind of genre open world and surviving, have you guys ever played Rust? Why can you try? What does that even mean? Oh no, go away, go away. Gosh, almost done. Yes. Second image uh, is my first base, Petrie's Pirate Village. The base been working on for months. Ming the Tri Rust haven't got around to it yet. Uh, not yet. It's on my list of games to play. Yeah, it looks really fun, doesn't it?
So again, the kill screen I think is level 22. So it looked like the the guy that got to the kill screen was level 22. See, I'm, I'm on level 10. Look on the top right. It, it was level 22 and the score was like 600,000. So it looked, and by the looks of it, it, it didn't look like it had to. Um, so you know, in, in the original Donkey Kong version, you have to like do like loop 999,000 like three times, basically three million. So on on the guy's screen, it looked like he was six in the six hundred thousand range, level twenty two. No way. Oh, get up, get up, get. Up. Oh, you know what? There we go. Oh, we got it! Yes! I have Minecraft on the... Um, I kept it on the PS4, but I haven't played it in forever. After we will get all the games updated three weeks later. Okay, cool, man. So you're moving in three weeks? Awesome, bro. Are you excited? Oh my gosh, that loaded back here. Like, are you excited about the move? Like, have you been... Or are you sad about the move? Have you been in this place long? Like, a lot of memories. Sad to leave. Kind of thing. Is that what's getting all the extras? I don't think so. I don't think so. Man, the, the sound effects in this game are so wacky. There's like so much going on, dude. There's like a sensory overload, I'm sure. You... So, I appreciate that you guys lurking and hanging out while I'm playing this game, because I'm pretty sure that, like the audio is just very... There's just a lot of stuff going on right now. Like, it is just not pleasing. The, will you grab the hammer, you... You, you guy? I was gonna, like, try to, like, make fun of him, but I couldn't even think of anything. You plumber? Like, it's not even an insult calling him a plumber. It's like literally his like profession to not. You? Moving in three weeks, that's how long it'll take for all my games now. Oh, right. <laughs> so much stuff, so many updates, it'll take three weeks, yeah. Yes! Oh my gosh, man. Okay, let's save here. Level 11, man.
Got you, boy. You thought you were gonna come up that ladder? Not, not in this house. Wait. How did? How did the? How did the bro get past my hammer? What the heck? Oh my gosh, that's unfair. I came too quick. Look at that dude, he's just chalking him from way up top. Skipping levels, what kind, what in the cheat system is that, man? DK's got handicap, bro. <laughs> dude, the double up barrel thing, you can't even jump over it, my gosh. This says BRB, for sure, for sure. Oh yeah, that's the thing, is because I disabled the chat box on screen when I'm like in this scene in the gaming stream, so I'm probably gonna have to like announce what people are saying. Here we go, here we go. Come on, this is like the easiest level. We should, we should have done that like 10 minutes ago. Woo! Save. Oh, didn't want to get the hammer. Oh, okay. Whoa, changers. Get up, get up! I thought it started over, dude. Oh my gosh! William Elfring, elbow bump. Yo, yo, yo! What's going on, man? I need OBS lessons. <laughs> Dude, I'll teach you anything. Everything I know, I'll be happy to teach you, man. I actually really, um... Uh... Hey, you said you're not alone there. Dude, I would... I'll love to teach you guys. So, you know, I've been trying to upload, um... Well, I have a plan of, of uploading instructional videos on YouTube. And in hopes that it benefits my direct community. Because there's already, like, tons of, like, YouTubers, way bigger channels that have, like, OBS and Streamlabs, like... Um, like, you know, set up videos, but I, I want to do my own that's like, that I feel like I could help my direct community because you guys will have to go out and search the stuff like I've already, like, I've already researched. Oh, shoot. Undo, save, load, there we go. Um, yeah, so the stuff like I've already, like, watched, like, I've watched thousands of hours of, like, YouTube I'm sorry, Twitch, Twitch tutorials, so like, I basically like, I want to compile all that like, like scholarly level like knowledge and of like what I know, uh, of what I know and uh, bring it to you guys, easy to understand, but I, I actually really enjoy um, the whole, like, consulting aspect of, like, streaming. Because I've, like, done so many... Losing my thought. I've, I've done so many things mess... I've messed up so many times with OBS, like, trial and error, trial by fire. It's like... I've been there, done that. So I get I get kind of an enjoyment out of like teaching people how to use like OBS or Streamlabs, like stream setup. So with all that being said, I would happy to teach be happy to teach you guys either in Discord like 
it's like an intimate setting with just like you guys I know in my community. I'm also, again, I, I really do plan on, I really do plan on, sorry, I like, was scared that I, like, my last save was back at the, this, this, this side, and so I was like scared for a second. Um, so yeah, my plan is to make, uh, like, instructional videos for a lot of people that, like, have no access to, like, the more bigger scholarly channels. I'm sure you can find out some a lot of stuff, but my hopes is that like I'd be sharing stuff people have already posted on YouTube, but again my hopes are that it would reach my direct community. Um Yeah, the huge bummer is like the internet portion. Because um yeah, there is a truth to it that um you can have a really like like I spec out computer, but if you don't have good internet, it really doesn't matter because um, that is the unfortunate truth to streaming and OBS or Streamlabs is that broadcasting software uses like multiple things to um, multiple things that um, that need to be utilized for like streaming. One is internet and then your actual physical hardware. Cause you can also have like, let's say you had a gig over a gig, right? Like uh, here, uh, Frontier or AKA Verizon somewhere else. You know, we have a gig over a gig. And those speeds are really only promised like ethernet. But point being is that 5G I get like 500, 600 megabits per second. But if I had like a Chromebook, it wouldn't matter. Because you do need like decent specs but that being said it's like yeah your ahu your, your hurdle might be like your computer is probably fine to stream from it might just be your internet that's what i wanted to say um <laughs> either have a great internet and a crappy laptop to stream or a nice computer and crappy internet right exactly like we're on the same page Hey man, what up man, it's Jamie Long coming back to you with some great streaming tips and tricks. Tricks, trips, like a trip. Uh. Oh, there we go. Come on, come get me, come get me, come get me down the ladder. Come here. I kind of want to clear it out. Come on, come on, come on, come down here. Later. Wait, why does... Wait, why does Mario's color palette change? I just noticed that. Why is he like green and orange? <laughs> Level 12. Oh my gosh. How long did that take us, dude? See, that's the problem, is it takes a while with some of these screens. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, gosh. Probably the e as I'm dying. <laughs> this is probably the easiest of all the screens. The most annoying is screen four. So you know what's funny is it like screen four is actually not that hard. On Donkey Kong, it's like pretty easy to like do that like just one loop around. But for some reason, dude. We've all been there, haven't we? Well those of the, those of us that have played Minecraft. Come on, man. Get up there. Get your... Get your... PVC pipe... Copper... Old copper pipe lead plumber fixing butt up there, dude. 
Oh, yes! How's that for an insult, dude? How's that for a roast? How's that for an 8 bit roast? How high can you try? Quickly, 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 quickly. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Dude, look how fast they travel. Oh my gosh, man. Go, 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 go. That's it, you're getting hammered, buddy. Come on, guys, you're all getting hammered. You're all getting hammered. Come up, come up the ladder. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Dude, that sound file when he's like banging on his chest. Oh! Get up there, get up there, get up there. Oh my gosh, that's the worst level, the worst level. Yeah. Thanks. Level 13, let's go. If I stayed up all night, I could probably get to level 22, but... I don't know if I'd be able to do that. I'd probably- I'd make myself so angry I'd want to punch something. Oh. Oh. Oh, 300,000 too. So, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there, boy. No, get up there. Oh my gosh. Wait, what technique was that? He does that like double hop jump? Yes. He was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What is that noise? Is that the thing? Are those like the the bungee? What are those things? The pogo sticks? What are those things? What are those things he's throwing, dude? Are they like pogo sticks? Oh, we just got pogo sticked. Some weird like flux capacitor looking thing he's throwing. What are those things, man? Sounds like a techno riff. <laughs> I guess you could take anything from this game and you could really cycle it in a... Make it... Whoa! That guy was moving so fast! That was like cheating. Yeah, that'd be really cool if somebody sampled this game and like made a techno riff with it. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. A TikTok thing. Oh no. Oh no. Sounds like he's saying, Hiya! Like, dude, you guys understand this is like 80. There's one more? I thought that was it. 
Yeah, do you guys understand, like, at this point, like, Mario didn't have, like, a sound bit when he jumped. And yet, these guys here, <laughs> they made Crazy Kong, decided that, oh, yeah, let's give Mario a voice when he jumps. Gosh. Like, why is it so intense? Oh, dude, that's annoying. That's annoying. Oh, no. Come on, come on down. Come on. Oh my gosh. Ping, 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 ping. Oh, dude, you gotta be kidding me, man. Yes! Yes! Wow, dude. Wait, what? Music note was that? Okay, up the ladder. Up the ladder, you're done. Okay, the hammer down. My goodness. Oh shoot, jump! Yes, 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 yes. Chris from YouTube says, I do not like his jump sound at all. Huzzah! No, what are you doing? I request a parlay. Parlay. Hello, Puppet. Come on, bro. Nah, you, you didn't get hurt. Stop playing. You're now over halfway on your points. And less than the levels. That's right. We're getting there, folks. We getting there. Oh my gosh. Yes. You almost sound like Guru Larry. <laughs> Okay, Pogo sticks are at it again, dude. The flux compa- flux capacitor- Oh. Flux capacitor Pogo sticks. Marty!
Every time he says fact hunt in English, X almost sounds like demonetized. Uh oh. Oh, we didn't. Oh, we're, only, we're here. We're at the. Get up, get up. What the fuck's capacitor? Look those sticks. Look what happens to your son! They can't dance, they don't, can't kiss. Wait, what's the scene? The enchantment under the sea dance? The first Back to the Future? What's the list he goes on trying to say to the band? Like, if they don't kiss, or if they don't, if you don't play, they don't dance, if they don't dance, you don't kiss. I'm trying to remember the scene. Get that freaking hammer, bro. Oh, here we go. Money pool. Money pool. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Oh, my gosh. What's that tune? Why does it sound kind of familiar? Oh, hi, can you try? I'd say, um, I'm also not looking forward to playing... Okay, so I'm not looking that forward to play Donkey Kong, uh, Jr. Or Donkey Kong... Was it me? When you're like the guy spraying the pesticides or something like that. So those are kind of like this. It's like it's not that it's hard, it just would take forever because I think for those I'm gonna shoot for the kill screen. Um, but I am, in terms of Mario games, I'm really not looking forward to is um, Mario's time machine and then like Mario's missing. I'm really not looking forward to those games. I played Mario's Missing and that was terrible. I tried a little bit of, um... Mario's Time Machine, whatever. That was... Pretty... A little bit, the beginning of that was pretty dang terrible. Let's see, uh... The Wedding March. Ah, okay. That's what that tune was. Here we are again at the flux capacitor pogo sticks. We're only seven levels away from 22. Kind of want to see if we can get to it though. Like on stream tonight. If I can just, oh, take some chances. Quick save. Oh! Oh, here we go, boy. Let's go. Come on. Turn up, turn up, turn up. Let's go. Turn up. Okay, quick save. We got one more to go. All the way over there. This is not going to be fun. Come on. Go away. Go away. Yes! Oh, man. Hotel Mario. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to play that game for uh, one reason. Is that um, even like emulation, it's pretty hard to set up um, the Philips CDI emulator, apparently. So, we'll see. I really want to play that, though. Rock Lawls, dude, good to see you, man. It's been a while. If you don't like it, you could just play it a little bit, though, right? That is true. They move on to whatever you really like. Yeah, so I'm trying to debate, because that, that is very true. I could, I'm trying to debate whether I wanted, like, 100% all the Mario games. Just to say that I've, like, like, exhausted them, and, like, the games I really hate. Like, never play again. Or, again, yeah, just basically get the idea, right? Because there's, there's a difference between, um, you know, 
being a completionist and just beating the game. So we'll see. I I kind of right, right now I'm motivated to be a completionist with a lot of these games, but it may end up just being like, hey, we got the gist, let's move on. So you're right, Rock Laws. That is a good point to bring up. OMG, there are four people on the realm tonight. Ooh, man. Spicy tonight. Oh my gosh, come on, dude. I actually really want to play Hotel Mario. I really want to play it because I've, like, years ago tried to get this set up. There's actually, like, okay, so apparently. The working emulator on its own, the standalone emulator, not one through RetroArch, which is what I'm playing on, which you can download a bunch of emulators through this. So for those who don't know, RetroArch, which is what I'm playing on now, is a front end, but you can download the emulators through them. Not ROMs, not the games, but the emulators. Apparently, so years ago I tried doing this, like in 2017, 2018, there was, you know, it was kind of janky. The only real working one was this guy who... um was working on the project on his own and again, we're talking 2017 2018 so it might be completely different now but the standalone uh phillips emulator by this dude who was worked on it by himself was the only legit working one and he charged for it and at the time as far as i know the core for this the phillips cdi core on retro arc was not good it still might not be good i don't know but at the time the only working phillips cdi emulator was the, the the dude that was charging for it. But I really want to play Hotel Mario. Like, I know it's like a terrible game. It's actually one of the few games that came out for the Philips CDI. I think it's the only Mario game, right? Well, oh, did you guys watch the Angry Video Game Nerd episode where Mike and... What's-his-face played through, um... They got a hold of the unfinished Super Mario World 2? Not the act, not Super Mario World 2, like Yoshi's um, Island. I mean, like the sequel to Super Mario World on the from the Super Nintendo. They got a hold of it. And we're playing like some levels. It was really interesting. Uh, it's usually uh, me and Neil, or Babbitt and Neil, or me and Babbitt, or me and Matt, Babbitt, Neil, and I. But we have a rare celestial alignment here. <laughs> uh, AVGN. Yep. Yep. Oops. Go down, flame. Go down, go down, go down. Ah. Go down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Save. There we go. This is, uh... Uncle Al says um, on Twitch, if you don't like something, just hate hate play until you run out of things to say about it. <laughs> then we see your rage and get the flavor of it, just like AVGN. Yeah, that's right. So <laughs> basically, it's like I'm trying my hardest just to make content by just casually playing it. But yeah, eventually this just made made turn into be a rage rage content, like like you're saying. <laughs> Which will be a whole other different form of content and probably more enjoyable than this. So room if you have bedrock. I actually do have bedrock. I um that's right, you were telling me. You you didn't invite me. You didn't invite me uh, last year. Uh the only problem is I guess I just haven't had time to play Minecraft. And the, here's the thing, is that I actually like Minecraft. I'm not like actually avoiding playing Minecraft. It's one of those games where it's like Minecraft because it's such a time consuming game on its own. It's like you can't really fit it into your backlog of other stuff you play. I mean, me and my wife love Minecraft. I mean, we've 
love playing. Oh my, come on, man. Oh, go! Up, 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 up. Yes! Wow. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, but I thought the whole premise was like they're only boyfriend and girlfriend. What's with the wedding song if they're only Oh, maybe maybe that was the wedding ceremony. It was Donkey Kong falling on his head. Okay, so maybe it's just a Oh, thank you for saving me. Will you marry me? Yes, I'll marry you. I do. And then wedding ceremony. The wedding march. So a lot just happened in that scene. There we go. Level 17, dude. We are, what, five away from level 22? So hopefully the kill screen just happens at level 22. But I do have a feeling that once we hit level 22, we may just have to keep um, looping until we hit uh, the kill screen number, which I believe is 600,000. Whoa, changers. Please hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get up, get up. Oh. Oh, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't. Thank you, go, 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 go. Jump. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Uh, it says, yeah, highly doubt a pirate game is canon. <laughs> That's true. I'm expecting a little too much. I'm expecting oh come on oh my gosh what is yeah I'm expecting the uh, them to follow the lore accurately oh maybe that maybe that was one of these things that they had to change up right oh you know he did maybe that was one of the things they had to change up was it like Oh, and Donkey Kong, he's like trying to save his girlfriend, but in this game, he's trying to save his wife, which... Which, uh, what, allows them to, uh... Have the whole fair use thing, right? Like, you know how, like, in YouTube videos, like, the all, the under the fair use rule of, like, reusing people's content, is it, like, if you're, like, watching someone else's, like, video on on your video, you have to like, it can't like take up like most of the screen. Like there's like things around it, right? Like fair use. So I'm curious if it was like one of the things they had to change. It was like, yes, but in your game, they're married. It says, but Daisy is on earth and toadstools in the mushroom kingdom. So you know what happens in the mushroom kingdom stays in the mushroom kingdom. That's right. So. Yeah, wait, and here's the question. Who are we rescuing in this game? Because it's neither Daisy or Peach, right? In Donkey Kong, it's that other lady. What's her name? I like, I know her name, but I'm forgetting. What's the... What's the lady you rescue in Donkey Kong? It's not, it's not Daisy or Peach. It's a third lady. Oh, it's a third party. Somebody. Somebody help help daddy out here. Oh, shoot. Get up. The hammer. Get the hammer. Yes. All right. Come here, boys. Woo. Money pool. Oh, or not. Go. Taking our chance. Oh, dude. Wrong move. Sorry, buddy. Pauline, that's right. So here's the question. Who are we rescuing in this game? Because it kind of looks like Peach. But she kind of looked like... She kind of looks like Doc's girlfriend from... Uh, from Back to the Future 3, this chick. So yeah, are we even rescuing Pauline in this game? Who is this? What girl is this? This is, this is Doc Brown's girlfriend from... 
Uh, Back to the Future 3, the Western. Run for fun. <laughs> What's that scene when they're in the saloon? <laughs> Run for fun. <laughs> Gosh, such a good movie, right? Back to the Future franchise is so good. Oh no! Biff Tannen, right? Oh! Gramps! I thought I told you two coats of wax, not just one! Oh, go up! No, 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 don't you come down! I was hoping the flame wouldn't come down. And he did, so he won. I think my favorite Back to the Future movie uh, out of all three is probably the second one? Well, I think because I loved Michael Jackson. And the Cafe 80s, dude, was just as... As a kid... I Dude, I remember as a kid... Okay, a little tangent, but... This all ties together. So as a kid, I remember watching the Beat It music video when I was, like, really young. Like, on MTV. My parents' house. Like, sitting on, on the floor. And I was like, when it came on, I was like... This is the coolest song I've ever heard. Beat it. I was like, the music video was awesome. The song is awesome. And then guess what? Eventually I see Back to Future 2 and the Cafe 80s is playing that song and I'm like, oh, sick. And I think that's what kind of made up my mind is like, that. I love this movie for that reason. Here you go. Hammer it up, boys. Hammer it up. Oh. So I found out in Donkey Kong, and in this game too, is that, like, things can breach your hammer. It's not, like, 100% accurate. Like, in in between your swings, dude, like, people can, like, breach, breach that, dude. You can breach your swings. Oh, come on. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go now. Whoa, nothing's wrong with me. Level 18. I guess I'm married. How high can you try? We should make that an NFT. That screen. Okay. Mario needs to chill when he's. Like, do you know what? Okay. Right? So, I mean, games, you know, technology restrictions, it was so hard to make games realistic, but I mean, like, when has it ever been realistic that someone screams like that when they jump? I mean, let's say in 81, they made this game and it's like... They had the same tech we have today. Like, who screams when they jump? Dude, are we really three levels away? Okay. Oh! Oh, I think I did not get the hammer. Thank you. That's one of those hit block... That's one of the times that you're, the, hit, the hit block doesn't work and you're happy about it. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but it's been like really hard to- It's almost impossible to grab that freaking hammer. Like, I'm still trying to figure out like how you actually can- How I can replicate that each time grabbing that- Oh, oh shoot. Okay. Okay, sorry. I thought I accidentally switched my save slot. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, 
Oh man, you're so close. I am, I am. Thank you for, uh, staying around and suffering with me, you guys. <laughs> and you guys have, you guys have been here since I started playing this, like, a couple hours ago. I mean, you guys could have easily just been like, alright, man, uh, I get the point you're working on. I'll be back in a few hours and check up, check in on you. But you guys have stayed around, man. Ooh, sorry. Get that umbrella. Oh shoot! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. This is like the this is the hardest level. Or the hardest screen on this game. It's actually this is actually a quite easy screen to do on the normal Donkey Kong. Oh my <laughs> Get the hammer! Get the hammer! Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is like a super easy screen on Donkey Kong. So that that's the maybe that's a trade-off on this game, is it like Kill screen is like a fourth of time it takes compared to DK being 3 million. This is 600,000. But guess what? Each level is going to be hard. Well, level, I'm sorry. Each screen is going to be hard, but screen four is going to be really hard. Dude, two more levels. Let's do it. Let's go. Still less torture than the cup game. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, you know what? I think a lot of the um I think the Game and Watch game is the worst than this. They're a lot shorter because usually I like You know, how I determine I beat a game is when you like if you're playing a game watch game, a lot of them like they max out at a thousand and then the score rolls over. So I usually determine that's how I beat it. It's like, oh, I get to a thousand on each Game & Watch game. But that- those 1,000 points of a Game & Watch game are, like, probably the- Like, I never want to play those games again. Like, literally. I won't- I won't do it. Like, someone would have to donate, like, 20 bucks for me to, like, play a Game & Watch game again. And I- Oh, shoot. Undo, save. And 20 bucks would not be enough to even, like, for me to, like, beat it again. 20 bucks is, like, to get me in, get me in the door for you to watch me suffer playing again. But 20 bucks ain't gonna be enough for me to stick around and play that 1,000 points again on the Game & Watch game. Yeah, the Game & Watch games are pretty terrible. Those are probably, so far, the Mario game I've hated the most. Let's go! There we go, come on. But yes, so I'm not looking forward to like Donkey Kong Jr. and Donkey Kong 3. But again, like I, I'm, I'm already aware of some games that are coming up, and I am not excited to play them. Like Mario's missing in Mario's Time Machine, Mario's Hot, hot Tub Time Machine. <laughs> oh man! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Yeah, boy. You know, once we get into like the the s no, not the Super Nintendo. I'll I'll admit because that's like Mario's time machine and Mario's gone missing or Mario's missing. I'd say probably once we get to like the N sixty four era of games, it don't matter what shovelware or or game we play, it's it's not going to compare to like some of these terrible games uh, in the beginning of this Mario franchise playthrough. Like the Game & Watch, these random 2D Mario games. 
I love Mario Bros. OG. We had on the Apple. Oh, back how much is called the Apples, right? The um, whatever a Apple Twos. Oh, the Apple Twos, right? That's right. The um, back in the day, yeah, they they um ported Mario Bros. Not Super Mario Bros. I know, I know what you're talking about. Mario Bros. To a lot of different consoles, different platforms, I guess. Computers. What do you think? Should I play um the OG Super Mario Bros. on some of like the other other con uh, other platforms like Commodore and stuff like that? Television. Like how many? How many different versions were there of Mario Bros? Oh shoot! Here we go. Here we go. Go away. Go away. Oh no. Oh. Get the hammer. That's it. All right. Come back down. Come back down. Go. Come on. Come on. Come back down. Come on down. There we go, 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 there we go. Up, 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 up. No, 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 no. Oh, no one's gonna get me. No one's gonna get me. We're good. Yes! That and Popeye. And we're married. <coughs> Whoa, look. Level 21, and my score is 500,000, so... Yeah, we might be, um... It might be right that, um, based on what I saw, that the kill screen is around 600,000 level 22. Oh! Oh, the hammer, get the hammer. Yeah, I'm curious what the kill screen is really in this game. Like, is it actually a kill screen? Like, it's not able to process that memory? Like Donkey Kong? Or is this, like... They decided the developer to end it like around a serpent a certain score on a certain level. You get what I'm saying? Like actual kill screen or just the developer is like, eh, rendered it here. There we go. All the Atari Intelligent Coleco and all the PCs of time, literally everywhere. Oh yeah, they all had that. For me, it was Billy It's NASCAR on MS-DOS. Ooh, we'll have to check that out, won't we? We didn't get the ha Oh no, you go away. Dude, the- The fire? These fires, the, the, the flames, whatever these things are, man. They're way too fast, man. Oh. Okay, up the ladder. Up the ladder. Go! Right? I'm trying to get... I don't want the hammer. I don't want to deal with the flame. I just want to get to the top. And it's like... I tried to jump over the thing earlier to not get the hammer. Well, I ended up getting it. Well, it's like... You can't drop the hammer, so you gotta waste your time and just... Play it safe until you go up the ladder, and guess what? I go up the ladder and the flame's there, dude, so... That was really annoying. <sighs> now you hit the hammer all the, every single time, dude? Now you're hitting the hammer? Please, go up. Go up. Oh, up, 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 up. Get up there, boy. Oh my gosh, go up, 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 up. Yes. The game usually crashes due to hardware limitation. Oh, what was that? Wait, hold on. Gosh. Come on. Oh, yes. Come on, dude. Why are we messing up on, like, the easy stuff? Dude, 
come on. Go down, go down. There we go. Please. I said... <laughs> Please, dude. Don't just... Let's not make mistakes, like, at the... At the end of it, man. When we're ready to just get out of here, bro. It's like one thing to make mistakes was like level 16, but it's like, dude, we're, we're so close. Let's not... Oh my gosh. Oh, chill. Going fast. Oh, no. Dang it, I really don't want to come back around for those two, but we're gonna have to. Save it. Save it, don't be a dingus, save it. Oh, here we go, here we go. Said here we go, that means don't die. Oh please. Oh go go Yes Dude Okay we're on level twenty two Wait what what tune was that? Oh my gosh look 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 Oh, never mind. Dang it, I thought we were on the kill screen. False alarm. Oh, it is the kill screen! It's the kill screen! Look, everybody, look! It's the kill screen! It's the kill screen! It's the kill screen! It's the kill screen! We did it! Look! Look! I keep dying and it's like 3700! Look! 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 It's a kill screen! It's a kill screen! We made it! We made it! We made it! Look! 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 I'm gonna die! Watch! Just watch! Look! Yes! Oh my gosh! Name registration name. Name registration name. Okay? You could just put name registration then keyboard. Put Jamie. J A M I. Your name was registered. All right, come over, beat it. Come on, beat my score. Who's coming over to beat my score? Wow, very cool. Take a screenshot. <laughs> you guys saw that, right? Did you guys, did you guys see the kill screen? I mean, how I just kept dying, even though I was at like 3,700 points. I mean, look, I'll even load it. We've already seen, I've already beat it, but here, look. Watch, just watch. Watch, I'll stay here. I'll just stay still. See? See? Look, look. I just died. Just died. So this kill screen is interesting because look, it counts down from 4,000. The kill screen in the normal Donkey Kong counts down from is it 400. So it's like. Although it says I got 37 left, look. Okay, there we go. Wow. There we go.